Configuration settings for AT102. To enter the settings screen, first press the function key, and the right hand soft key will change from menu to setup. Here you have four options ECG settings, spiral settings, and system settings. In ECG settings, the first option is auto format 1 and 2, where you can configure the formats of the printouts of the ECG recordings. This includes the actual ECG printout, the average cycles, the rhythm leads, and the measurements, markings, and interpretations. Under filter, you can adjust the frequency for each filter and turn certain ones on or off. The interpretation settings enable the user to determine whether or not certain comments will be added to the interpretation statement on the ECG printout. The leads tab is to configure the lead sequence and is used to clarify when the leads are placed in a different position than the standard. In the General tab, you have the options on the mode of storing the recordings. If the printout and transmission of the data is automatic, and the amount of leads that will be shown when the device is turned on. System settings. When system settings are entered, there are three screens. Unit settings, communication settings, and test and information settings. In system setting, the user ID of the unit is defined, as well as the date, time, and language. The startup screen is selected under this tab as well, which would be the first screen to be displayed when the unit is switched on. Other parameters like the paper speed, the units of speed, and the volume for the internal beeper can be modified. In the communication settings tab is where all the configuration changes regarding the transmission of the data can be made. When test and info is pressed, the name of the unit along with the version and installed software is displayed. When print setup is selected, a printout of the defined settings will be produced. When communications test is selected, test options are given for the RS-232. Under software, a software update can be performed with the code provided by Schiller. To reset the unit to the base default settings, press the base unit soft key. Spirometry settings. Remember this option is only displayed when the sensor is connected to the RS-232 port. Under printout is where the format and content of the printout is defined. You can select to have the FVC graph printed or not, as well as the flow graph. Define the time axis for the time interval for the graphs. Define whether or not the diagnosis will be printed or not, and whether or not the peak expiratory flow will be calculated in liters per minute if pressed on, or if off is selected, the peak expiratory flow will be calculated in liters per second. Under the device tab, the normal values are selected. In FVC type, the display of the FVC graph is selected. The report type is to define the measurement on which the interpretation is based. 